what is up everybody today i'm actually going to show you how to compost with guinea pigs you can also use this with mice rats hamsters pretty much any rodent rabbits doesn't work with pretty much any livestock animal now, I did say any livestock animal. This system will work. You just have to make minor changes to uh, certain livestock. But for like small animals such as rabbits, guinea pigs, mice, rats, hamsters, this will work. Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to clean out the cage. You need to get the old bedding out. Okay, that's what I did right here. Okay, the ne not today, but the next day, you need to go out. And you get your bag of compost starter, okay? I'm not affiliated with this company. This is just what I use, okay? Bedding that you're going to use in your hamster cage, okay? You want to use asp bedding, okay? It's basically a hardwood bedding. You don't want to use cedar bedding because it takes a long time to break down. And you don't want to use pine bedding simply because the mycorrhiza, the fungi, the azobacters, the gibberellins, everything that's in the compost pile will not work with pine or cedar bedding it basically just kills them okay you don't want to use newspaper because there's a whole scenario on newspaper now where uh, it's not sustainably sourced it's not a environmentally safe product to use for your guinea pigs and you don't want to use anything with the fragrance in it okay because, yeah, that's just not right. Uh, most fragrance oils are petroleum-based fragrance oils, and you don't want to have that in this. Hardwood bedding, okay? Also known as asp bedding. Okay, now we're going to talk about what you can actually do with this bedding. Uh, there's tons of different things to do with it. And Jennifer wants to get in the video. Hey, buddy. That's Jethro, guys. And there's Dash. If y'all live anywhere and you see me chasing either one of these two dogs, please help. I'm old. Actually, I'm not that old. I can really do it. I'm just out of shape. But anyways, you can put this on your non-edible plants, plants that you're really not going to eat. If you don't use anything from your lawn, um, you can put it on your lawn, hay fields. No, I don't. Okay, that's not thunderous. Somebody drag in the trash can. Um, if you have enough, you can put it on hay fields. But what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to put it right in there. Okay. Now I'm going to let it sit there. I'm going to keep adding to it, adding to it, and adding to it, and adding to it until. I actually need it, which will be probably next fall when I start pulling my plants out of my garden. Then I'm going to be adding this stuff onto that um, because I'm going to be putting leaves there. <clears throat> I don't have any leaves there now because I was too lazy this winter to actually collect leaves. Another thing that you could actually do with it is have a three-tier composting system. It's basically just a hot composting system and you can compost it then basically each week or however you hot compost turn it and then you let it sit for about a month or two roughly uh, what I do is on one of these bins I usually start a native uh, worm bin uh, just basically add it to that and then whenever all three of them gets full i empty one out of there but i try to save back like a dozen or so worms to put back in there that's pretty much it guys it's pretty well easy my system here with this is just basically i come out here each week and i dump it now one thing i did forget to mention is that about every day or every other day you want to top off the bedding 
Okay, now you don't have to add any more of the, the, the starter, but you do want to top off your bedding. And then about once a week, or whenever it gets full, come out here and dump it. So that's pretty much it, guys. See y'all in the next video.